Electrical panels, or main panels, are the heart of the electrical installation in a home. They control the flow of electricity from the grid to the inside of the home and how it distributes to each circuit in your home. This video will give you an overview of the panel location, how it works, and the general installation tasks. This video is not meant to be used as a how-to video, and you should always consult with a local electrician for electrical tasks. This panel is usually located near the electrical entrance of the home, which can be underground or above ground. You can identify the electrical entrance because it will usually have the electrical meter close by on the outside of the home. The panel is usually installed at the same time as the wiring of the house. After that, outlet switches and other elements are connected with wires from the main panel. Also remember, in a new home, the final power is not connected until the house is nearly complete, but you may want to have some temporary power and it is extremely important to make sure power is disconnected and remains disconnected for the duration of any electrical work for safety purposes. This is called lockout tagout process. Power may be shut off using a main disconnect on the panel or disconnecting at the entry source. The electrical panel comes as a metal box and also includes a cover. The actual connections are made behind the cover. Inside the panel, you'll find a bus bar and areas to attach the circuit breakers. Circuit breakers are necessary for each circuit and they act in case of a power imbalance by disarming and therefore cutting the power to that circuit. Therefore, an electrical circuit is a system composed of electrical fixtures, switches, and outlets that are served by the same set of connected wires. In a home, the electrical distribution system is compartmentalized by circuits so that the power can be shut off or turned back on separately to each area in addition to the main shutoff. Once breakers are installed, electricians connect the main feed lines to each circuit breaker. On the other side of the breaker, the wire is connected, then each feeds to the different areas of the home. New homes usually have excess electrical circuits, meaning the panel can receive more circuits in the future without the need to replace the actual panel. This is good practice given the ever-changing pace of technology and electrical needs. It is very common to have prefabricated panels already with circuit breakers attached to minimize on-site work. Once all wires and circuit breakers are properly installed, the cover needs to be knocked out to fit exactly the circuits that are used. Also, somewhere in the box, usually on the inner side of the door, the circuits are identified, so anyone doing maintenance can correctly switch on or off the desired circuit. After its assembly, the electrical panel must also pass the electrical inspection. In a new home, this usually happens when wiring is inspected. But timing and scope of the electrical inspections vary greatly by jurisdiction. 